Hey, kitty girls, it's Sunday, August 1st, 2021. Welcome to Cubs Out Loud Drag Race All Stars Season 6, Episode Number 7. Oh. Not sure if this is a lucky number or not, but hey. No. The least you could do is show up, Queen, right? Yeah. And that's exactly the minimum that the Queen's did. So for those of you that are not familiar with us, hi, welcome to like the more than halfway point of <laughs> Falls Drag Race All-Star Season 6, here with our little show, It Comes Out Loud Drag Race. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Gary, and with me is my ever-fabulous co-host. Hello, everyone. It's Damon. Welcome. And the shade has already started. But what would you expect? You know, let's be honest. I mean, true. Let's, yeah. Ready to jump in? Yes. Okay. Racers, start your engines and may the best drag queen win. All right, put the pedal to the metal, hunties. So these are our overall thoughts on the episode. Damon, <laughs> I think we're we're kind of on the same track this time. Yeah. So this I call I just said this is this was a filler episode. This is nothing mm. major, nothing new, nothing amazing, nothing um, from, well, there was a little bit of dramatics in the ending, but for the most part, like this felt like a filler episode. Mm -hmm. We got to know some of the queens a little bit more based based on the challenge, mm -hmm. um, but overall, it was it just felt like okay, like we're here we go. Let's let's do this thing uh, with this song and. Write some lyrics again, and let's dance and shout and dance around and perform the song. Mm -hmm. And then we walk the runway in something that has absolutely nothing at all to do with what we just did. And then yada, 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 someone went home. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of the game within the game for the mm -hmm. seventh time. Yeah. Okay. My biggest issue, I will say this much, my biggest issue right now is it will, will be is that we are at the seventh episode, which to me feels like we're past the halfway point. Mm -hmm. So why haven't we revealed what this game within a game is? Like, what is what is going on? Mm. Like, what is what is the deal? You have been right. dangling this fucking carrot for now seven episodes and you've given us no details whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck is it? I don't know. Do you know? You don't know. So why should we care? Right. That's fair. Yeah. Gary? Um, I said, meh. Mm. Meh. I don't disagree with you on being a filler episode. Do you know what I realized as you were talking and I was thinking, like, what, what do I really feel about this? Oh, I feel like it was formulaic. Like, mm. it is something that has been done so many times. It's like there was nothing original about it. There's a song. You yeah. got to write your own lyrics. You have to record your own lyrics. You have to do the choreo. You do you do the dance number routine. ba da ba ba da ba That's it. And so I w my analogy, which this may not, like, equate with everybody uh, necessarily, but it's like making macaroni and cheese. Specifically, mm -hmm. the cheap mac and cheese from the box with the powder mix. Yes. Because... Yeah. Once you've done it a half dozen times, you can do it blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Boil water, add pasta, cook six to nine minutes or however long the, the, the time frame is. Drain, put back in the pot, add butter, add milk, add powdered cheese. Mix, mix, mix. Done. Like, there's nothing difficult about that. And so I mm -hmm. was like, okay. That's kind of how I felt about this episode. I was like, oh, all right. We're just gonna go through the steps to make this thing happen, and that's about mm -hmm. it. So yeah, yeah, meh, and, and that's fair. I will also say this: so the title of the episode is "Show Up Queen," which is the newest single being released by RuPaul and the performers. Um, actually, it's not Ru; it's just the queens. Yeah. I just realized that. Because the main vocal track is by a lovely lady, I'm presuming lady, by the sounds of it, who, to me, 
uh, could be a ringer for Beyonce. Yeah. And I was like, okay, girl. It, but it was so it, stark, her lyrics versus the Queen's lyrics. Like, like the sound quality and mm-hmm. just the performance and everything. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's not so good. the song sounded very like Destiny's Child, you know, very, it gave me very much that vibe. Mm-hmm. Now, unfortunately, it was very fluff. So I don't really recall it that much. Like, as I think back on my mind, mm-hmm. I know Show Her Queen and I hear that in my head, but that's about it. That's all I got to say about that. Ready to move on? (laughs) Okay. And turn the page. Okay, so uh, cruising the runway. So category is hot tropics, mm-hmm. which was not enunciated when it was said aloud. So, as Trixie said in pit stop, she thought RuPaul said hot topic, and was expecting this like angsty like expansion of the of the. Last week, oh my golf runway. Right, right, right. Which amused me to no end. So I was like, okay. Um, yeah. So before we get into to what things look like on the the runway, David, what did you think, like just in general, about the what um, was presented? I guess. So I kind of put down some looks and some stretches. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some nice looks. There were some things that I, I will say in in this point right now that were a bit of a stretch in regards to what the category was and and what i mean is like similar to so frills the frills of it all whatever Mm -hmm. that was you know Right, right like broader is topic like someone's kind of pulling something in my mind that they had already and we're just like, here we go. Let's that'll work, and then throwing it on the throwing it on there. I'm talking to you, Trinity, because um, we know now where that dress came from. Um, I would pay. Yeah. I would play the shade button, but it's not shade, honey. It's tea. Like no, and I, it's and I don't. Tea. I I need like a tea kettle or something. Like it's absolute tea. It's a pageant mm-hmm. dress. You could find mm-hmm. it on the internet. It's in a YouTube video mm-hmm. from one of her more recent. I think it's 2019 Continental. Like. Evening mm-hmm. gown run or whatever, and I was like, uh-huh. and it is. It's very beautiful. But we called it when we watched it the first time, and we were like, "Girl, kind of yep. looks like a pageant dress. Looks like something you already had." And she did. Yeah. So, I so think again, like kind of in that. Yeah. That these that some of these outfits the girls already had. Yeah, and and I'm gonna you know I, I'm gonna point to like Trinity again, mm. while again while it was beautiful Mm -hmm. and amazing don't get me wrong fucking loved it did that really hit the hot topics topic you know topic hot Mm. topics category you know is that really what i would you would think of like is that kind of where you would go would you go carnival for hot tropics like in my mind again a bit of a stretch a bit of a stretch, not nearly as much of a stretch as some of these other greens, but that's just that's just right. me. So, having not been to Brazil, fair, I cannot yeah. say for certain, but my impression is those people, those queens that have gone and performed in Brazil, hands down, they think that qualifies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my impression from some other queens like making reviews. So I was like, hmm, okay. Hmm. Yeah. What about you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, meh, times two. And by that, I mean, like, I already said meh once, so I'm just going to say it again. Like, I just wasn't really blown away and kind of disappointed. Yeah. Like, there was just some weirdness going on. And we'll get into that here in just a second when we, like, uh, go over each look. Uh, but I was just like, mm, okay. Like, 
I will say that some things surprised me. Like I was like, wow, okay. But then on the mm-hmm. flip side, I was like, like the the stun, like the impressiveness wears off really mm-hmm. quickly. It's like yeah. it's like fruit stripe gum, kids. Like mm-hmm. you know how it's so powerful. Like when you first put it in your mouth, you're like, mm-hmm. 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 like listen, all that fruity taste. And within about two minutes, you're like, you're like, don't have the taste no more. No. And that's how I feel about some of these looks. Like, I was like, mm, okay, like, I, I like what we're serving. And then after 30 seconds, I was like, and I'm yeah. bored. And I start, yeah. and then I start nitpicking. I start looking at shit and I start, like, getting, like, annoyed. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. you know. Like, I, am, I will, yeah. Well, we'll talk about the looks. I know we're going to go through the looks, but, like, I was genuinely, I liked some things, don't get me wrong. But after that, I was kind of like, okay, and? Right. Which I think goes back to your whole comment that this was a filler episode. Like, it just, Mm -hmm. it didn't do anything other Mm -hmm. than eliminate one queen, put another queen on the chopping block who could quite potentially be the next one to go. Mm -hmm. Although we already know what next week's episode is. Mm -hmm. Speaking of such things, I should probably... If you didn't know already, we're going to discuss, like, who went home, who was in the bottom two, and uh, I'm just going to say it now. Next week is Snatch Game, finally. Only it's <laughs> the All-Stars version, which is Snatch Game of Love. Which no. makes sense, because we're going to be down to six queens, so it's three and three. Mm-hmm. So it, it works out in that case. That being said, so let's take a look at some of these... Uh, hmm. Items that we have. Yes. Here. Let's do that. So first up, we have Jan, who says she is serving a New Jersey housewife, Snooky, like, realness. Um, I never really watched that mm-hmm. show. Sure. I know who. Right, you know I, I, yeah, I, but I know who Snooky is. And, like, this far more says to me, like, Miami, like. Florida. Um, this mm-hmm. makes me think of um, Dixie Wexworth, and actually, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that would have mm-hmm. been hysterical if one of the queens had done that as a reference. Like, yeah, this hair is pretty close. That all she needed was to like pour a fuck the, ton of the, Elmer's glue on herself or something, like uh-huh. <laughs> to get, the, get like, that 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 leathery like old lady skin that super tanned like yes yes yeah yeah uh, anyway <laughs> <laughs> so for me this was this was a serve mm-hmm. i will give it a serve um i i appreciate like everything kind of going together everything being the same like pattern right which i i'm sure is not easy to do depending on you know the pattern you get and uh it was it was nice um it it, it was a you know to be blunt it was a bikini with a with a like a caftan or um, robe on top right but she added some fun little accessories that kind of made it work and i got the i very quickly got the jersey vibe from it um and yeah it was nice I, I called it a serve. Like, I, I appreciated that it was a departure. It wasn't purple. Oh, my God. Uh, like, we, we played with other colors in in the, the crayon box. How exciting. Um, mm-hmm. I agree that the whole thing cohesively going together from the shoes to the bag to the drink, like, like everything mm-hmm. was the same matching pattern. So I was like, good on you, girl. Like, it is all consistent. Um, it does make things get lost, though. So, like, Fair. in her hand, it's difficult to tell that the drink holder is of the same pattern and that the shoes are the same pattern because they basically camouflage and blend in. So it's like, mm-hmm. like True. I appreciate that Zaldi, you know, made comment and appreciated like the, the consistency, like it was carried throughout. Um, the only thing that I was not a fan of, Jan Baby, um, who did you borrow the breastplate from? Because I doubt it's yours. 
because or if it is yours it's new and you haven't really used it much because this part right here the top neck part where you were like try to cover up the seam is super shiny and it doesn't match your complexion because you didn't put makeup on it like it was just one of these oddity things baby don't be put that sh shade fan up I'm, I'm i'm it is tea it is truth it annoyed the fuck out of me and she even plays with it at one point. I can't remember where, like where she's like trying to get the choker, like the, the fabric mm -hmm. line to cover it up or whatever. And I was just like, mm -hmm. but I haven't known Jan to really be a person who wears, you know, fake Usually moves she doesn't have a big much. old, yeah, she usually doesn't wear anything. Or she has like conical, like the cones yeah. to give the illusion. Anyway. So, yeah. So there's. Shape it while I want. Uh, <laughs> next up, Miss Pandora Box. Now, I'm really intrigued by this concept because I'll be—I'll admit I haven't watched Ratched, um, yeah, the Ratchet, Ryan Murphy Ratchet. show, right? Which is mm -hmm. the whole Nurse Ratchet from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, like that portrayal by by Sarah Paulson. But I thought it was comical that she was like Nurse Ratchet goes on vacation or whatever. It goes, to the, you know, to the beach. And I was like, interesting. And so she kind of framed a reference. Um, mm -hmm. So what do you think, Damon? Because I, I almost like. Um, <laughs> I gave it a serve. Okay. Um, one, because it, not because of necessarily it told the story per se. You know, again, I don't, I haven't watched Nurse Ratchet. I haven't watched that either, but I, I got, the, the idea, the nostalgia, the 50s, 60s kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, it's very much on brand for Pandora. And this is one of the few times where I really liked like everything, like the makeup, the hair, um, the dress looks really good. It's very, like I said, it's very like 1950s, 1960s. And, and um, again, matching the pattern on the dress to the pattern on the luggage was very nice. Mm -hmm. I would have liked that luggage thing to have been bigger because one of her lines or one of the things people were saying is like she hid her husband in the bag. And like, honey, no, no, no human is fitting in that little ass bag. I don't care how much room is in this bag. No body is, I mean, no adult body is fitting in this bag. Maybe she had him cremated. I mean, yes, that could be true. I mean, my favorite thing is she's like she didn't she didn't bring what is it she didn't bring much with her because she's not planning on wearing anything, and I was yeah. like, oh, you minx, she's going to a mm -hmm. nudie resort. <laughs> uh huh. But no, I really I really did uh, appreciate and like this. The I only have one pet peeve, so I give it a serve. Like I think it's a very high serve. Like I thought it was very mm -hmm. well done. The only thing that's my pet peeve, and you can see to this photo, is that Credlin like skirting underneath is showing. And it is one of my biggest pet peeves about mm -hmm. bitches. And this is for anybody who wears something underneath. It's like if you're going to have structure and volume, you have to figure out how to like make it so that it's not obvious. Like, mm. like it doesn't have to be absolutely hidden, but I should not be able to see it from a camera angle. Like it looks like the, the skirt is riding up or it's falling down or something weird. It's just like a slight miscalculation. It makes me feel like the skirt, like the dress should have been an extra inch or two longer. It's really weird. Mm. So it's just, and it's always been a pet peeve of mine. I think about that. Like every person I've ever seen, I'm always like, come on for real. Like what's, what's the deal with that? <laughs> so anyways, but no, I thought it, I thought it was good. Yes. Next up. Miss Raja P. O'Hara. Now, these are not necessarily the easiest photos, and I will say this. I'm starting to get pissed off at these bitches because they do not stand still on the runway. Like, the edit is them, like, stop, 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 not, not, not stop moving. And I'm like, if you don't stand still, guess what we can't do? Get a clear shot of you. Uh huh. For the record. But that being said, David, what do you think of this? Um, this was a swerve. Okay. I thought this was too fucking basic. Didn't have anything to do with tropics to me. This could have been like your patterns, like under your patterns, dress, like pants and stuff. Like maybe you mm. took this off and this was like another pattern thing. Um, it's, it's so, I think my big, like, it's just so basic and simple. Right. And it does nothing else. Like, I don't like the gauntlets. I don't like the, I mean, the the bikini is fine and the hair is like fine. I get where we were sort of kind of going for, 
but this feels like a throwaway. Mm. Like, like, oh, I did miss, you know, coach to something like, like where I had to the pageant where I had to wear a, a bathing suit and I bought this bathing suit. Let's just throw that in. Mm. Like, it just doesn't work. Yeah, so I'm going to agree with you. I think it's a swerve. I think she missed on this one. Um, I think the judges made comment that she should have, like, added something to it, like a cape mm-hmm. or whatever. I think what would have looked really nice is if she had a skirt that, like, came from the sides to the back. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, like, so that it, like, had something as volume and, like, flowing mm-hmm. or whatever – what, but obviously is removable. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That, you know, could I, be taken off. Like, in fact, she could have had it fully all the way around. Mm-hmm. And then had some type of... Took it of off s- to reveal. Well, had a setup where it came halfway. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, had it, like, on a cable or something, and then it bunched so you could just part mm-hmm. it like curtains. That sounds so strange to say. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> put it off to the sides, but then it's still there. And then as she walks to the back of the runway she drops it do you know mm-hmm. what i mean so like you kind of get three looks like you have like yeah you know a, uh you know the top and the skirt and then like kind of sort of like a half skirt and then just like it's obviously the bathing suit like mm. something a little bit more to tell a story other than just like look at me i'm in a two-piece it's like that's nice yeah whatever yeah like i'm i'm loving her legs don't get me wrong that's all nice but you know this is there's there, there's a difference to me these are obviously legs with pantyhose on them Right. Like they're, you know, so it's again, we know you're not a real woman. Like we get that. But, you know, we've seen girls that walk in. Well, I'll use Simone as a perfect example. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming Simone shaves her legs. I'm assuming Simone like skin cares the fuck out of her legs, takes care of her skin so that it has that very like glow and radiance to it. So her walking in a bathing suit shows something because one, there's nothing like there's no illusion. Like these are my legs, honey. Like, yeah, they're in a heel. And yes, there's like probably everything's all probably like tucked in all kinds of places. But like it's a bathing suit. If she had come out and I'll put it like this, if she had played with it more and gave give, give given us a story might have been okay with it. Like, if she came out as, like, a black Barbie, mm. like, did a pose as a Barbie, walked the runway kind of in that kind of thing, because this would be, like, a very much like a Barbie doll-like look to me. Um, But that's not what we got. So I agree with you. Like, I would have liked something else, some kind of accessory, a fucking umbrella, something to just, like, Right. Give us more than what we got here. Yeah. No. And I think that's the key thing is like, there is no story to this. She's just wearing a two piece. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on. As we were previously discussing, Miss Trinity K. Bonet in her Carnival uh, $174,000 worth of feathers. I was like, bitch, okay. I know feathers could have a price, but I think you're. I think you're just kind of exaggerating. Yeah. Um, so I give this a serve, mm-hmm. but there's a caveat. <laughs> there's an asterisk next mm-hmm. to this serve. Um, this was, as I talked about earlier, this was clearly an outfit that you had for something else that you picked for this runway. Mm-hmm. Like, no one goes, oh, Hot Tropics. I'm going to come out in a big fucking, like, like, like peacock thing behind my back and and salsa down the runway. No. Like it's beautiful. It's extravagant. I love it. But I don't think you this was specifically made for this runway. This was something that you had that you put in I don't I don't know how you put it in your suitcase, but <laughs> like <laughs> you put it in there somewhere or had it shipped so that it would arrive. I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like I never know how they, how the hell do they get these like big fucking things? Like the headdress alone is a suitcase. <laughs> like, let alone this big ass like back splash of, of feathers and um, fabric. Right. Um, and, I, and I'm going to 
clock a little bit. I like your Samba, but it looked, you were very wide on your legs when you were doing it. And it felt very awkward because you're kind of doing this weird, like bow into the leg thing that just, it just felt awkward to me. I got what you were doing obviously. And maybe because I haven't seen a Samba in a long time, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Mm. I don't know. I'm not a dancer, but it just looked odd. Right. That's Gary. Fair. Um, I'm, it's a serve, but I, I, I mean, your all of your points are valid, Damon. This is one of those like, ooh, it really impressed me. Which came around the corner, I was like, oh, okay, fuck everybody's drag. Somebody yeah. just showed up with like all the feathers. Mm-hmm. But then, like I said earlier, after so many seconds, I was like, okay, and right, like like nothing else happens. Like, you know, that's nice. It, it looks pretty. You look good. Like I would. It's one of these things where I would have loved it. Like, okay, I'll put it like this. So this in comparison to Akira's um, frills look with the fucking like flower that came into that, like, Mm -hmm. you know, like she took down. I, if, if this could have done that, Mm. I would have fucking died. Right. But again, this is just like a thing. This is a showpiece. This is a showgirl look. Right. That's what this is. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Eureka. Do you oh, want, you, do you want oh. me to go? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, this is a uh, swerve for me. I agree with you. Um, uh, I, I'm so, okay. I need more. This is this is All Star Six runway. Mm-hmm. I need something more than a bathing suit. And I get that it's a beach ball, and and you're carrying a beach ball, and you've got this like hair that doesn't have the colors of the suit in the hair that match, because you've got this green in there for some reason, and I think the green is in the beach ball. Maybe I don't mm-hmm. know. But, like, the green is not in your outfit. So when you threw the beach ball away, the green was gone. And I had no reason to hold on to that. Right. Um, and, again, this is just too basic. It's too too simple. And, yes, it's a maybe beaded or something like the beach ball on the print is beaded, I think, in some way. But it doesn't work. It doesn't land. It, it I can barely tell it in these pictures that it's there, but I recall it from when I watched the episode. So, and it's one of the few times where I have not been impressed with um, um, Eureka and her her proportionizing. Mm-hmm. So, eh, 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 eh. Bleh. Okay, Carrie. It's definitely a swerve. Like it, it is a basic bathing suit, and bitch, it's an ill-fitting bathing suit. I am mm. so irritated with this garbage that she's wearing, and I'm calling it garbage, legitimately, because look at the cut line, look at the mm-hmm. panty line, look at the 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 pulling, like in the crotch. On the side shot, look at how it's puckering around her ass. Like, it mm-hmm. does not fit, Mama. Like, I don't know if this was somebody else's outfit that you just added the little E onto the center of the design where the colors come together, like the beach ball. Like, and that's the only Didn't thing that you see did. that. Because it's just, it does not fit. Mama, this is garbage. Mm. This is this is a regular <laughs> season outfit. This is not an all-star yes. season outfit. And I'm just not buying it. The 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 hip cut is way too high, and the yeah. like the crotch region isn't narrow enough. It doesn't fit your body. I don't understand what's wrong with this. It's got lots of things wrong with it, but I don't understand yeah. why those things are wrong because you've not had this ever happen before. It doesn't mm-hmm. fit you right. And there's another angle I didn't I didn't decide not to include it. But when she walks back across to the left of the judges, like if we're the judges and she walks that way across the screen. Like, there's Mm -hmm. a weird pouchy thing down in the crotch area. It kind of looked like she was wearing a diaper. I had no idea what the hell was going on. Like, 
bitch, did you stick a maxi pad down there? Like, what is going on here? It was so confusing to me. I was like, this this whole thing is just messy, and I don't messy for her. Yeah, to, yeah. Like, like agreed. That's, we're I think at this, this point. Is... You're gonna get you're gonna get clocked and critiqued for what you bring. You've made it through six episodes now, seven. You have a certain caliber. This does not meet it. Sorry, yeah. girl. Yeah, and I know how she was like they were clocking her for the 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 pageant jewelry, like bitch, like that don't that don't matter to me. Right. I don't. I I barely saw the jewelry. I didn't care about the jewelry so much. I was like, what the fuck is she wearing? Right. Right. It doesn't work. I definitely feel okay. this this was representative of the judges giving her a pass. And I was like, why? Why? Why are we like, letting Eureka have a pass? Because she gives good, like, confessional? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put it like this. From here, like, the, 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 the chest to her makeup. Okay. The hair I don't like. The bot, the rest of the dress, the rest of the dress, the rest of the bathing suit, I don't like. Mm -hmm. I get the like your little pouchy pooch. Like looking at this picture, like I, no, um, does not work, Mama. Does not work. And then she had a, no, that was in the, the performance. That little bitty like heel shoe that she was wearing. Um, I just it just again and again this is just so fucking simple. If you had had, like, fuck the beach ball. Like, if you, again, I'm I'm a fan of, like, if you had had, like, a robe, a caftan, something that was, like, big and, like, beach ball -y, and then, like, you turned and revealed, and then you had this on. Grand, not my biggest, like, the cuts and shit, yes, not so good. But, like, if there had been a reveal to this, I might have been gagged. Right. If you had kind of told a story in some fashion, if you were like, if you come out with like, you know, a, a bag and you had like a bucket, you know, and a shovel mm -hmm. and suntan lotion and like uh -huh. telling a whole story about how you're going to the beach and, mm -hmm. you know, or you could have been a lifeguard. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's just like a whole bunch of things that you could have done other than just turning yourself into a beach ball, oh. um, which I think is an odd choice. Um, mm -hmm. I just, and it, and it, and it's not a very good looking one. Sorry. It just, mm -hmm. you know, and the pattern doesn't carry over to the back. Yeah. It's literally on the front. So I'm just like, I, I don't understand what's happening. Beach balls around, honey. So all sides. Right. Yeah. All right. That being said. Mama, this is garbage. <laughs> so true. Ginger binge. So, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> this was obviously not an easy decision. No, it was not. Okay. So, I I give this a serve, but it is a very soft serve. Okay. Because, kind of like what you were talking about, how, like, after a while, I was like, oh, no. Uh, uh. This feels too big on her. Mm, okay. It kind of swallowed. I think Zaldi mentioned... Why am I talking about Zaldi? Fuck so. But anyway... um. <laughs> this feels very big on her mm -hmm. at least the like the for the the robe kind of part right. of it um and it's kind of swallows her i love the hair um i'm i have an issue with like big girls in bathing suits but that's you know this part of this is the whole point of having this like robe thing is to kind of like disguise it and hide it a little bit but this kind of works really, it worked for me for a little bit, but then as it kind of went on, especially when she walked to the back of the stage and was walking away and she had all of that fabric in the back that was kind of almost like ballooned up because it was, there's so much air in there. I feel like this was too big on her. Like this is, like we've mm. talked about this before, maybe this was someone else's outfit. Mm. Um, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it is Drag Race, but still. <laughs> exactly. But again, I, I, I like it. I just don't love it. I'm not wowed. I'm kind of, eh, as yeah. I keep looking at it. If it had, and I'm kind of looking at it now. Yeah. Um, sorry. Um, if it had been 
like stoned or or something to just kind of add a little extra bit of bling to it, I might have been all about it. But right now, not wowing me too much. Mm. But I still give it a serve. It was a decent serve. Mm -hmm. Gary? So I agree. I give it a serve. Um, My criticisms are a little different. Like the bigness of the robe is an issue, but it didn't bother me that much. What bothers me more than anything is your undergarments are showing, girl. Like there's something weird going on with your panty line that you've got this like shiny, darker tan trim to the edge of the swimsuit around your crotch. And I don't know why. Like, was it made that way? And why would you do that? Like, because it's drawing my eye there. And no offense, mm. I'm not looking at you, Ginger, to look at your puna nanny. Like, I just want to <laughs> see you from head to toe. And then the, mm-hmm. the upper picture, like, you could see this, like, tannish fabric band that's cu- that's popping, you know what I mean, right mm-hmm. at where the, the top of the fabric is. So it just says to me, like... It like it doesn't fit her, like her undergarments were bigger than this, or something happened and it shifted. I just I don't understand. Yeah. That said, I think it's beautiful. I think she looks beautiful in it. Like I don't mm-hmm. have that much of a of a qualm with it. I don't dislike it, but at the same time, I was like, it was like to me this was like Trinity's carnival like outfit. Mm-hmm. After the first few seconds or so, I was like, okay. Right, and then, and? you know, like, it's unfortunate that she, like, this pattern I think is really good. I wished it had been a reversible. Like, she said she mm-hmm. had, like, 35 yards of fabric or whatever tied up in this robe. I'm like, you know what would have been nice? Is if the swimsuit was the opposite. Like, if it was a photo negative, so where mm-hmm. the green is green, it, the green would have been white and the white would have been green. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if it had been opposite yeah. of that to, like, help yeah show off that a little bit like more Mm -hmm. than blending in and camouflaging like i think that would have been more impressive i would have been like oh yeah okay i I see you like agreed yeah so but that's that actually i think they would have i would have liked that a lot better if it had been like the bathing suit had been an opposite effect Yeah, yeah i mean and it's difficult to say what works for everybody and what doesn't. Um, Mm -hmm. And to be fair, they have very little time to get ready to come to the show. So they're kind of at the mercy of what they can get done. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Miss Kylie Sonique Love. So this is a serve. Okay. Um, I did like this. Um, Is it Hot Tropics? Maybe if you're kind of going for the, like, you know, cockatiel, like, bird of paradise kind of thing going. Like, it works really well. I wish it had been more more than just one, like, the green. Like, I get it's green, but I would have liked some other colors to just kind of give it that look. I'm fine with the hair. I love the hair. I I just wish that the... I'll put it like this. I wish that the, the fabric of the suit and the, the gauntlets and what have you, the gloves, would not have been a snakeskin print and would have instead been like a bird feather, a uh, something, I don't want to say a solid print, but just another print to kind of give that more illusion. Because if you're putting feathers on a snake, that doesn't really make any sense. Mm. Okay. But I did like it. I did love the hair. Um, I'm, oh, that's other feathers in her hair. I keep forgetting what was in the hair. And I was like, oh, there's more feathers. Yeah, I just would have liked something else. What about you? I think it's a serve. I think it was one of the better ones in the bunch of the seven. Mm-hmm. But again, I I have to agree with you. Like, there's just something not quite 100% about it. And you're yeah. talking about that fabric and that it's like snakeskin printed material Mm -hmm. like even though the whole thing's green in various shades and oh my god michelle liked green whatever the reality is michelle has like in in the past years come forward and said it's not that she hates green she doesn't like queens who wear green when it doesn't look good on them because Mm -hmm. it changes their like their skin tone it it, like Mm -hmm. it does Mm -hmm. a whole lot to you so Mm -hmm. either you can wear a girl or you can't and most of the time when michelle hates it is because you shouldn't probably have worn it um 
but that anyways that being said like i mean yeah kylie looks good but at the same time like i don't know i i honestly how do i put this okay i'll say it like it is stop relying on that body mm, yeah like i would have i mean i would have loved you in something similar to what trinity brought yeah. Like the bird feathers and that kind of thing. Yes, it's kind of a showgirl outfit and you could have had like, you know, but just a little bit more, you know, umph to this would have, I think, would have brought it over the top for me. Yeah, I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. my favorite, you mm -hmm. know, or the best thing in the world. Uh, that being said, um, I want to go through this uh, really quickly because I realized we kind of like skipped over it. So for the challenge... So, Saga show up queen. They have to be put into two groups. Show up queen. Yeah, group of four, group of three, and they have to do their own lyrics. They're kind of like competing queen gangs. It was very weird. I don't. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Jan, obviously in purple, lavender colors, stars. I thought she did all right. Yeah. I, did, I didn't think it I... was the, like, it didn't knock me away, but at the same time, it's exactly what I expected. Yeah. It actually looks nice, like for a kind of like leotardy dance, you know, kind of outfit. I kind of like it, and I like this hair on her. Um, um, I wasn't a fan of her lyrics. I think she misinterpreted the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, actually, she misinterpreted the challenge. I don't think she did. I know she did. Correct. Um, Agreed. And um, that I think was detrimental. But she looked nice. And I like that everyone on her group kind of wore this sort of purpley family shade. Right. They were all in very much in that realm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, next up, Miss Pandora Box. Uh, mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't dislike this outfit. Um, the hair, mm -hmm. all of it, like, I think it worked pretty decently. I think she was a bit pulled back and reserved. And I do mm -hmm. think the criticism was fair from the judges when Michelle was like using laughing for two stanzas was not singing. Um, yeah. But at yeah. the same time, I knew going to this, I was like, yep, this is not Pandora's strength. Yeah. Yeah. She looks good. I wasn't as big a fan of this pur big purple hair on her. Hmm. Um, but I like I, I like it. But because but it goes with everyone else in a sense, you know, not so much. Correct. Um, um, Jan, but like. I think that's what we're going for. I think the hair was borrowed. I'm just going to be honest. I don't think. Oh, absolutely. I don't think, I don't think Pandora brought this hair. I don't right. think I'm going to. I'm going to call it like it is. I don't think Pandora brought anything here because this is very youthful. This is very modern, and that's not what I get when I think of Pandora and her looks. I disagree. I wouldn't be surprised if she brought the dress, the belt, and the boots. But I definitely mm. think that the hair was borrowed because this to to me says like. Hamburger Mary's like high energy number, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, or cocktail, like, you know, with the crowd yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, like it doesn't need a purpose. It just exists and it's fun. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up, Miss Raja P. O'Hara. So one of the first things I wrote down when I saw this and I wrote mm -hmm. down was, um, is Raja wearing Jan's talent show outfit? Like, I wrote that down. She's not. Like, I went to go look at the pictures. Like, okay. I, had, I okay. had to go look at the pictures. Um, first of all, um, Jan's uh, talent show outfit is a pink. And it has a lot more, like, buckles and things up here at the, at the right, neckline. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, but for a second, I was like... Like, I mean... It would... It could be her still. I'm not going to knock that out. I'm right. not going to say no. Um, but I don't think it is. But I just, there, there's a part of me was like, mm, maybe, possibly. Right. Um, yeah, I like the I like the look, except for the boots. <laughs> and I don't. I don't know what she was thinking with these with these boots like they don't they stand out far too much for me to be like like oh 
like this was planned. Mm-hmm. Like you could have done like a just a simple like shoe if everyone was going to wear boots. I don't. I, then, I think okay, they all are. Fine, yeah, but that's fine. But like you have to have a simple like black boot. Like th- no, that's a drag queen fucking staple. Like you have to have like a black boot, even if it's a fucking chunky heeled boot. Like that would have at least worked better than this. Right. Um, hell, just like a clear, like, like a clear booty, something, something else, something else than that. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. I mean, I thought she looked good. I didn't, I didn't dislike this look. I thought it was very youthful pop girl group. Like, I mean, it, I think it definitely was fitting what the, what they were trying to do, but I agree. Like I was like, Oh, them boots. Okay. Mm-hmm. And and what I'm slightly wondering is if they have a lavender tint to them, but unfortunately under all the stage lights, like you get none of the purple and all you get is the gray. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's maybe. Like, and it's like, well, girl, you got hosed. <laughs> like, <'cause> they, <laughs> they don't look purple. It doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, Trinity K. Bonet. Um, girl, this is quite a look. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Yes, I don't hate it, but there's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have preferred you in a purple hair. I would have liked to have just gone with everyone. Well, not everyone else, but mostly everyone else. Right. And just done like this purple hair inside this pink. This just it works. It's fine. But I would have loved the purple hair with everything else that you have going on here. Right. Um. Um. Again, I, it's simple. It's obviously like a bodysuit with like some, you know, thigh high boots. By the way, Raja, those are thigh high boots. Okay. <laughs> Throw back to season t- <laughs> season Girl. eleven. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it was a good look. Like, what's weird is she makes me think of a lollipop. Mm. It's that hair. It's so mm-hmm. like, round yet off sight, off centered, and I don't dislike it. But it's kind of like cotton candy. It just makes me think of a lollipop. I don't know why. It's just mm-hmm. kind of a that's fair. Kind of a it makes me think of a chupa like lollipop or something. But uh, next up, Miss Eureka O'Hare. Or sorry, she just goes by Eureka. Um, yeah. Now, Eureka exclamation point. Yeah, so she decides that she wants to have an outfit. She has a reveal. She does a split. She very carefully gets back up notably mm-hmm. <laughs> because of her medical, you know, issue from a couple seasons ago. So <clears throat> Yeah, I I'm not a fan Look, of it. I'm gonna be honest. The whole thing is a problem for me, honestly. Yeah. From from the from the biscuits on mm-hmm. her feet to the gray hair with the purplish uh-huh. like hairline. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, you know what I just realized? Never uh, never mind. I was I was gonna say Pandora could wore the hair, but anyways. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I'm obviously delusional now. Um, I don't care for the tuxedo frilly like sleeve thing. I just mm-hmm. there's just a whole bunch of it. It was just like I don't know what you're trying to do, girl. But okay. Yeah. It. Uh, uh, yeah. It's okay. I I was curious. Like I almost said. Like I think you and Trinity should have switched hairs. Mm. But no. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. Ginger Minge. Mama, no. Do you need me to play it? Yes. Mama, this is garbage. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I. <sighs> okay, so. So everyone knows Ginger's short and stout. She is a, she is a, a, a teapot, like all the way around. Jim clocked it first, and I had to go back and look at this like a second time. 
Um, we were talking about earlier how certain things look like something. This is like a diaper. Like straight up on like a diaper. Uh -huh. Like especially with the cut at like the midsection. Like this looks like a baby in a diaper. Like like this look this looks like <laughs> a like motorcycle gang, like the mama baby, the mama with her baby, and she's dressing her up for like the 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 road. So she buys like one of those little baby jackets and throws on the little booties. And yeah, it just looks so bad. It shortens her even more mm -hmm. than she already is. Right. And that cut with that jacket. Mm -mm. Right. I don't think the jacket need to be open. I think the jacket that might have helped maybe. But I don't know what else this looks like. What is under here looks like. Right. And I don't know if that would have worked. She needed, she doesn't need this, like that cut up on the, it's too high on the, on the hip. That's the one part of it. It needed to either be lower to kind of make like a short, um, or uh, to kind of go the worst route, it needed to be higher. And just like, if mm. you're going to be a hoochie, be a hoochie. Like, just mm. straight up, like, all the way up. Like, reality is, to me, to be blunt, like, she needed a, she needed a skirt than anything else. To be blunt, she needed a different outfit. I mean, fact. Like, true. Different like, hair, different, different outfit. outfit. That's, that's just all there is to it. I don't hate the hair. I do. I, it's untamed. It's annoying as fuck. The fact that she finally played with it and, like, moved it out of her face, I was like, thank you. Like, again... <laughs> I think you borrowed the hair girl. I don't think it's yours. Yeah. And it was just the whole thing was problematic. And so I I understand where the judges come from and they think that the jacket should have been open and that might have helped. And uh, cuz I agree that it might have helped. But yeah, like the whole thing just cuts her into pieces. She looks like a bad amalgamation of those um dolls that mm -hmm. you like put the different pieces together. Do you know what I mean? And it divides them mm -hmm. in parts and you just kind of like swap stuff out. And what's mm -hmm. weird is it feels like the middle section is the where it went wrong, like from mm -hmm. the belly to to the top of the thighs, because the boots and the jacket go together. The hair is, mm -hmm. mm, but like that middle <laughs> section with the thigh and the belly is where the issue is. And I was like, Girl, mm -hmm. no, it's just bad. And I don't. Yeah. Nope, that's her. Okay, like I'm looking at this picture and I'm looking at the middle, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's a. Uh... That's still her. That's the tuck area, mm -hmm. like between the thighs. And it's just, we're, this is not a meaty tuck, y'all. This is not that. But what I'm getting is like there's, there's, there's ha something hanging, it looks like. And I know there's not really, I don't think there's anything really necessarily hanging per se, but it looks like it. Yeah. There's just something not, yeah. Not mm -hmm. working about it. Yeah. No. And then last but not least, we have Willem. I'm sorry. I mean, Kylie. <laughs> Girl, I'm waiting. Mark my words. Everybody who's listening and watching this episode, mark my words. I'm waiting for Willem to reveal that this is her entire outfit and that Kylie borrowed it from her. It's Willem's hair. It's Willem's look. I bet you anything, those boots are hers and that skirt is hers. Maybe not the top, <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's Willem. She looks like Willem. How could it not be? Or. Lord. And Willem talks all the time about how she lets like people borrow her shit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that aside, um, I don't hate this. Mm -hmm. uh, this almost could go to clash of the patterns, as it were, mm. um, almost in a sense. But um, it's the hair for me. I need, it doesn't work. It doesn't match. Like, you've got all of this black and white, and then you've got this very bright, like, yellow hair. It's not a blonde. It's a yellow. Um, and it just doesn't work for me. Um, yeah. It, it, yeah. Uh, uh, I thought it was okay. But unless. Right away, I was like, I think it's Willem's. Sorry. <laughs> That's fair. So, yeah. And by the way, I think those are the exact same boots that she wore in her lip sync. 
when her titties mm. almost fell out, you know? You mean when her titties did fall out? Well, they didn't exactly fall out. Two thirds. Right, but that's not, I mean, they didn't <laughs> pop out. There was no Janet Jackson oops, like, <laughs> moment. Although, they did do a little blurring just to cover up any mm -hmm. nippleage, but yeah. So anyways, that was the challenge, as boring as it was. Um, so that being said, before we get into our last segment, let's talk about this whole thing. So mm, y'all wait one minute. <laughs> Cause I got to get back and I'm trying to find this look again. I got to get back onto the chat. Hold on. <laughs> so the judges make the decision that Trinity K. Bonet is the winner. Mm hmm. And so she's going to lip sync for her legacy against the assassin. Mm hmm. So, yeah, anyways, just moving on. <laughs> I don't know just what else to say. On. There's a whole series of pictures, so I'm just going to kind of go through them. Um, you know, we have the whole color change, there's reveal, it's a queen, nobody knows who it is, but it's orange, it's a gown. Uh, notably, if nobody knows why Eureka said, is it Madame Lequeer? <laughs> and Trixie, I think, talks about it in the pit stop. It was like, what in the hell was like Eureka thinking? <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know. I got nothing. But mm -mm. lo and behold, it is the one, the only Alexis Mateo. Mm -hmm. um, I will admit, I saw this and I was like, okay, this is high whore drag. Like, big mm -hmm. old hair. That mug is beat. And I'm like, okay, there's a stunt coming. There's something that's going to happen because I don't see how she's going to do the whole number in this outfit. Yes. Like, when the number started, I was like, um, did you not get the, 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 the song? Uh-huh. Right. Did right. you, did you, did you not get the song? Right. Um, and we know for all stars that they do. They get it in advance. And yeah. They don't learn it the yeah. day of. No. So, yes, there's that. Um, I want to talk about this moment. So get get in there, David, and look real close. See that green circle? Hold on. <clears throat> do you see what's in mm -hmm. the middle of the circle? Some Something black. That would be a safety pin. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. That's a safety oh. pin on her bra strap to make it fit. I was like, Try to hold it together. Like, and my problem is, is like, you see it in this shot and then you see it in another shot. And I was like, okay, honey, like not, well, not a good look, or at least you should have put the safety pin in a different place or something. Cause that just, that's not, it's not cohesively working. Um, mm. So yeah, there's that. Put a put a put a bangle or a, a jewel or something on it. Make it work. You got all that fucking fringe. Like, no one will see it if I like throw some stuff on it. Like, yeah. Unless it's the only thing that's holding it together, which it might be. Mm hmm. Um. So you know, like we were talking earlier, Alexis says this big, you know, frilly. Um, gown kind of outfit thing uh going on now i will say i was really surprised by the reveal like we knew something was, was up but i did not predict this outfit was underneath mm -mm. Mm -mm. because i'm gonna go back this does not look yeah. like there's a whole dance like no shredded sparkly mm -hmm. like number underneath probably it. fringe number yes I was, a, I will, I, I will admit, I was a little gooped. Like I was like half expect, I was expecting the skirt to re remove. Mm. Uh, it wasn't until she started reaching for like the 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 frilly like well not well I guess sleeves uh, of this dress that I was like oh okay we're doing something else y'all right I wasn't um, sure how it was going to reveal and then we got this and I was like oh okay and not only. Like, like you don't see that at all. Mm -hmm. Like the 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 top of the dress has like a sheet, like a nude illusion, like pattern, like not pattern, but you know, cut here. Mm -hmm. 
And then you got the frilly sleeves, see, like that. Right. And then like none of that, like all of that is gone. So I don't know. How, I don't know. I mean, maybe it obviously wasn't maybe like fixed in the back so she could just like take it down. Right, but right. that was that was a great like reveal. Agreed. Yeah. Like I, I think Alexis like served totally this this, you know, changing if, of if, the outfit. Yeah. If she had taken off that wig and had a wig underneath, I would have just died. Well, speaking of people that should have wigs under wigs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you think I wasn't going to talk about this moment. Oh, bitch, I knew you were going to talk about this. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, this exact moment is really key. Because when I watched it, I was like, Miss Trinity, how dare you not, like, pin and glue your wig down i wrote down the riggery i don't know if you can see it hold on yep riggery uh-huh so we'll come back to that so sure now i will say this trinity does look beautiful with this blonde you know Mm-hmm. deal so you know she's delivered a little like you know of a look but that brief moment i was like okay oh bitch can you see this are you looking at this what's that that pucker oh yeah right on her breastplate yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. y'all y'all need, uh. yeah come on this this okay this is this is this is like elementary grade drag like faux pas this this is regular season shit like yeah how we were bitching earlier about eureka's like runway look was regular season this is regular season lip syncing like yeah the safety pin issue the hair coming off the puckering of the of the the breastplate like there's just Mm -hmm. some oddity things going on and we know she know better we'll get to that Oh, fuck yes, we will. Sorry. So, <laughs> Miss Alexis Mateo, still looking good. Mm-hmm. Girl, does she know how to paint? Damn. She does fucking know how to paint. Bitch. Bitch. It's so good. It's it's so, so good. good. The only critique I have is the whole jawline issue. Like, And mm, I know well. it's not easy to do, but I feel like it's a little too high. Like, mm. I, th- I think the darkening should have been just a smidge lower, like, mm-hmm. but yeah. Yeah. So, Miss Pandora and Miss Jan are in the bottom. <laughs> I don't fully agree. I, okay. I'm not, I'm not surprised that Pandora's <sighs> in the bottom because I admit that her dancing, singing section of the main challenge was not the best. Jan, however, I really felt that she did good in the main mm-hmm. challenge, and I don't dislike this look. Mm-hmm. So honestly, like, I think Eureka should have been in the bottom instead of Jan. Like I will, I was gonna say this. Um, I think, to be honest, Jan somewhat failed in the challenge. But won and over in the in the runway. Okay. Eureka eh, in the challenge and then mm, in the in the in the on runway. Right. And it was to me it wasn't enough. Um Pandora being in the bottom, yes. While the runway was nice, while I liked it, it wasn't enough to save her. Right. Jan's runway saved her, in my mind. Okay. So, Bussy had made a comment about all three of them being in the bottom together. Mm -hmm. Like, that would have been their preference. And I do not disagree. I don't disagree either. But then then we wouldn't have had the drama that we had. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Uh Alexis reveals, because she wins, that Pandora is who the group chose. Then. But wait, there's more. 
and 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 I hate to say it, like when she said, "I have it at a lipstick." Like, bitch, we know who's on it. Like, right. they ain't gonna be like two with Pandora on it. Right now, unless right. it said like someone else's fucking name and that like like no one that was even like remotely close to being at the bottom, and there was some kind of rigory of that shit. Like, yeah, like holy shit. That was the thing I was thinking very briefly when she's like, I have a second lipstick. And I was like, well, it has to be Jan. Otherwise, <laughs> we got another Dayla moment. Like somebody <laughs> done made another new, new lipstick or some bullshit. Yeah. So mm-hmm. both Jan and Pandora were chosen by the group. Because? Because. Top. Oh, my God. What do you mean top? <laughs> there was a tie. It was a tie. It was a tie. Oh what you mean, tie? Mm-hmm. Pretty self-evidently, you know, there's six queens outside of the winner that have to choose. So it's a three and three, three for Jan, three for Pandora. And mm-hmm. this is where the rules get revealed. And this is why I said in the chat, well, now that answers that. Mm-hmm. Because we've been wondering if there's a tie, how does it get what resolved? Happened? Mm-hmm. Boom, bitch. This is how it gets resolved. Mm-hmm. The winner, their lipstick is the deciding factor as to who goes home in the event that the, the group, there's a tie. They can't make a decision. So it defaults back to Trinity as if she had one. That being said, your comment about Riggery, the hair falling off, like this stuff. Uh-huh. I wonder... And I'm yeah, just I'm gonna get to that. Speculating. I'm definitely getting to that. Allegedly, in my <laughs> mind, Miss Trinity did not try to win the lip sync because I feel like the hair coming off was slightly genuine in a response, and yet we all know that's kind of one of the cardinal rules in lip syncing that you don't lose your hair and if you do you must have other hair underneath it not your own right or like it needs to be so well executed do you know what i mean like there's Mm -hmm. no question about Mm -hmm. what it is because i think of like sasha velour do you know what i mean how like she can have no hair and that would be acceptable Mm -hmm. in some fashion i mean granted she had rose petals but anyways that's a whole other issue yeah um so yeah and trinity's reaction to the fact that she has to reveal her lipstick kind of is what set me on this like conspiracy theory path that she Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tried to not win the lip sync, even though she could use $10,000 for a whole series of things. Like a used car, but she did buy it in a freezer with them with meat in it. Right. It was full of meat. Uh, that made me laugh, honestly. And my favorite part <laughs> is how Trixie was like, what is this? What is this business? Like, and I was like, girl, you're a little too rich now. Like your shit's showing how like money isn't that big of an issue for you because Trinity is speaking to the people. She's speaking to the mm-hmm. rest of us who like uh-huh. for $5,000, you could get yourself a nice used car. Like, you know, you could, <laughs> you could do some things. So yeah. It, and then yep. she did, she went and bought herself a Buick or something. It cracked my ass mm-hmm. up because she put it on social media. I was laughing. I was like, she's like, and then, because then she said, and it said, hashtag trade drives these, or hashtag mm-hmm. trade drives this, or something. Made me laugh, made me laugh. I was like, girl, you go, girl, you go. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's that. that. Um, and it was just this whole oddity thing that I wasn't quite sure what was happening, what was going on. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so. That's how that played out. Mm, 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 mm. You ready to move on to our last section? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so it's time for snaps and eye rolls, a.k.a. the hits and misses, also known as the highs and the lows of the episode. So, Damon, who you give it snaps to? Um, oh. <laughs> so one of, like, the funniest little moments in this show 
that caught me so off guard. So Ginger comes in the like the second day, no, the first day. Okay, okay. In this purple jumper, romper, romp him, whatever, or not purple, pink romper, with like leopard print. Mm-hmm. And one of the first things she says is like, "I'm gonna blend into the background," and so enough. Like while Raja and her group are talking, they pan back and you see like Ginger just like up against the wall, just like 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 standing there in her romper. And and they they ain't paying no mind. I don't see her. And I'm just like, ooh, that's so cute. It caught me in that moment. And I was just like, that's 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 funny. Yeah. That was funny. I like that. I'm giving snaps of that. It's just a cute little in this filler of an episode, it was one of those cute little moments that I was kind of like, ha ha, that's cute. Yeah. Right. Oh, I agree. Um, so I decided I'm going to give snaps to Trinity, the drag mother. So despite mm-hmm. how the assassin thing goes, I really am getting the impression out of the rest of the queens right now, Trinity is taking on that role where she's mm. like doling advice and being quite the like calm centered, like voice of reason amongst mm-hmm. the girls which is interesting because you don't kind of expect that in an all-star season like you really expect that to come about in a regular season where somebody who's a veteran who has been around performing for a long time tends to come forward in some capacity that way and is known as mm. dad or mom or something like that but i really kind of i don't know just something about this episode i feel like trinity's well, been like kind of stepping forward and being like of help or assistance or counsel or whatever to the other girls. Yeah. Like her in particular, I was particularly like, I loved her moment with um, Jan, like right there at the end mm-hmm. um, where she's kind of giving her this honestly, like a pep talk. Right. Right. Like, even though this is like your ending here, but like you're still like great and all that stuff. And I love you kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, like sometimes you need to hear that. And Jan in particular has been rocked so much by this season um, that I can understand like have, having that moment and being your feels. And instead of like, just like letting it go, like Trinity taking a time, a moment, despite the fact that like everybody's watching and just having that like one-on-one, like I'm right here. Let me tell you something, the truth or something kind right. of thing. And I think part of that comes from Trinity's pageant background. She has been through a number of competitions, has known what it's like to lose, like has Mm -hmm. known what it's like to be told what you dreamed of, what you desired is not going to happen. And I think that's part of what she brings to the table as a queen to another queen to basically say, I got you, baby girl. Like, Mm -hmm. like I understand that this moment is not what you desired, but I need you to know from from my heart to your heart, like this is this is you know, this is but a, a you know like a, a bump in the road, so to speak, in your journey. Exactly. Um. So yeah, no, I agree that I thought that was a good moment. Moving on, Damon, who are you eye rolling at? <clears throat> now to be fair, I can't tell by what you wrote. Because this doesn't technically give anything away, but I have an inkling I know what this is a reference to. So You probably do. So I put down, wait a minute. <laughs> and my wait a minute is to like, um, it's really to just, to, just to be like kid it all out there, to the rigory. The rigor Morris, girl, the rigor Morris of this whole like moment. Um, speaking on Trinity, the kind of, the kind of, opposite side your 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 drag mother moments like mm. trinity has been around the block trinity has done pageants trinity knows how to do all this stuff she is not a girl she is not to me not been a queen that doesn't know her roots and knows how to get shit done she knows how to put on a wig she knows how to put on a breastplate she knows how to do all these things to make stuff work right all of these little issues that happen in this this um this lip sync mm-hmm. I didn't even notice the safety pin, but that's just adds to it. Like that outfit was probably, I'm just, it looks a little small. Like it runs, it's running a little small on her. Like if you look at it again, like, I don't know like what's going on, but it doesn't feel like it fits fully. Maybe it was Russia's. That's number one. I don't know. 
I, I like Trinity is, is small. Like I'm noticing, like Trinity is 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 she's not tiny, but she is very thin. Correct. She's very thin. Yeah. So I'm I'm getting. You know, she can wear whatever. So maybe this was someone's that she borrowed. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's hers. Maybe mm-hmm. that's what it is. But you put on this long ass black hair that goes down to the crack of your ass, and you didn't pin it in the back. You didn't do a date. Like you're a dancer. You're the choreographer. You're Beyonce. You're fucking Beyonce, and you didn't right. do like. Like you didn't put the wig on in the back, you, like it's it's probably a lace front. Like it probably has a a, a, a a elastic strap that kind of holds it to the back of your head. Did you not put that on? Did you cut that out? Like what's going on? Mm-hmm. And if you did cut it out, then you know that you should have probably pinned it in the back, mm-hmm. considering what you're going to be doing for this number. Mm-hmm. You knew what you're going to do for this. You're a choreographer. You know better. You knew better, and that's why we're calling rig on this. I don't think you wanted to send another girl home. So you you made a couple of things here and there. The wig like falling off is genuinely like a oh shit. Like that's gonna send you, you know, that's that's a, a, almost an immediate like you lose to any lip sync. Then that breastplate don't fit right. And we know you've worn that like hundreds of times. What is going on there? Are you sweat? Were you hot? Is it like puckering up because like that dress is again probably too small? Like mm-hmm. is that what's going on? Like, like it just that's that's my my issue here is that it feels very like choices were made, mm-hmm. bad choices were made, and that's where we're dealing with all of these things happening and it just doesn't look right. And that's where I'm like, I I feel like you rigged it. Like you weren't planning on revealing your lipstick for one reason or another. I don't know who you're like, who you wanted to vote for. It doesn't matter. Um, But I think you had not planned on revealing your lipstick. Mm -hmm. Um, And you intentionally, did things to do that. And I have another, I didn't write it down, but um, I wrote down, cause I actually started over here on my little pad and I just happened to look over here. Um, and it's, Jan, don't do that. So it's in, they're in the back. Mm-hmm. And um, there's these moments where Jan is kind of talking and she's very much giving me like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what went wrong. I don't understand what's happening to me. I don't get what's going on with me. That kind of feel for me. And I was just like, or something. She said something to it was to me almost throwing, um, Pandora under the bus. Like, oh, she hasn't won anything. Oh, she's quiet. But I've won stuff, and I'm here, and I'm all that stuff. I have to go back, but I, I remember intentionally writing it down, and I did not like it because mm. there was something about what she was saying at that moment. I was just like, "Like we really, you really don't need to go to that level. You don't right. need to go to that." Level. Right. I don't like that. I don't like when you do that. I don't like when queens do that. Mm. Anyway, Gary. Oh, that well, was a choice. <laughs> No, I agree with you. What was that again? That was a choice. That's how I feel about what happened with Trinity and the assassin lip sync. Just saying. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have any disagreements with you. Um, so I'm eye rolling the boredom of it all. Mm. There just wasn't really anything exciting about this episode, except for the little bit of drama at the end with the lipstick stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it. Otherwise could have not cared. Still kind of don't. Yeah. Like in my mind, like I got heated earlier, and I will admit the reason I'm getting heated is because I'm I'm ready for what's gonna happen. Mm. I need to know what's going on with this game within a game bullshit that they keep talking about, but they don't say anything else. But how it does is a game within a game. We need to do something more with that, y'all. If there's something else going on with it, we need to know. So here's the thing: I don't think we're gonna find out until 
after episode eight or at the very end of episode eight. Mm. And even then, I don't know, because we're going into Snatch Game of Love next week, and it's going to be three and three as the contestants, as the matches, quote unquote, Mm -hmm. the dates to the celebrities. So Mm -hmm. it makes perfect sense to me that nobody's coming back for that challenge. Mm -hmm. So it won't be until after the eighth queen is eliminated that something is sort of revealed. Now, Jan's attitude from the end of the show really spoke volumes because (laughs) these girls. So Serena was excited. Jiggly was was kind of excited. Silky was very intrigued. Yara was kind of confused. Scarlet was, I think, a little standoffish. Akira gave no fucks. Like, she was like, "Uh Mm uh-huh. Which says to me she was not thrilled by whatever this is. And Jan was super excited that she's not technically gone. Like, Mm -hmm. she she revealed the most out of all the girls, it seemed. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure what to think about that because now, like... We have one more episode to go, so I feel like we're going to get Eighth Queen. And I really don't know what's going to happen because I'm still sticking to the guns that the queens that are left now are the only queens that are potentially going to win. Mm Mm-hmm. But because if you you want Drama Mama, if you want, like, some crazy shenanigans shit, then absolutely the queens who have been eliminated have a potential to win. But that's, like, the biggest switcheroo because all of the queens who have been eliminated have been showing off their final looks. So if they've been showing off their final looks at what you're packing with Michelle, that says to me, you absolutely did not win. It's not possible for you to win. Like, but that would be the biggest switch Mm -hmm. if they still won somehow. But anyways, so I I don't think it's Mm. that. I don't know what it is. I just, I just, I went, I'm, I'm over the, like yeah and i wanted what it is who said it in an interview akiria it wasn't jan someone recently maybe it was scarlet was in like an e like an entertainment news like interview or something and scarlet and was asked about what the game within a game is and she said i don't know you tell me she's like i still don't know and it came off so naturally i was like whoa I don't think mm. she's lying, which then makes it <laughs> even more confusing because I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, if we've got this long and there really is no understanding, like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's a game within a game. What is it? I don't fucking know. Do you? No, you don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Right. Just think that's happening. It's, just, it's really just RuPaul just saying it. There's actually no game. Like, nothing happens. No one's coming back. Like, it was done is done. Like, that, you know, like, the other thought I had <laughs> was that all of the eliminated queens end up competing for, like, second place or congeniality or do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there's some other thing that they get, like, I don't know, like a $20,000 prize or something. You know, mm. like, there's there's another thing, but I'm not quite sure how that works. And I don't know when it would be. Or if you really wanted to, like, like, uh, probably piss off the fandom, is be like, oh, we're going to have a second part to All-Star Season 6, and it's going to be all the eliminated queens going against each other. Do you know what I mean? Bitch. Like, like no. so, Like, so you get the first <laughs> eight eliminated, and you end up with the top five, and then at that point, the top five cannot, like, compete in this other whole other thing, and it's only oh. those eight. I don't know. I'm just I'm just brainstorming and throwing out all sorts of bullshit. So yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Told you. I ain't got time for that shit. I do not want to be sitting here in the middle of fucking September. Well, actually, we probably will have to make it to September as I'm thinking about stuff. But you know, like in October or November, being like, and next we eliminated. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. So that being said, <sighs> um, 
if you have thoughts, share with us. There's plenty of ways to do it. You can go to CubsOutloud.com and uh, leave a comment on a blog post there. You can also send us an email at CubsOutloud at gmail.com. You could leave us a voicemail message. You can call 361-COL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. Social media outlets, pretty much anywhere uh, online. You can type in Cubs Out Loud as one word and find our uh, general podcast overall. If you would like to join the chat about Cubs Out Loud Drag Race specifically, um, you can go to uh, the Telegram platform via this shortcut, which is tinyurl.com forward slash telegram hyphen c-o-l-d-r if you would like to know about our regular series show when we're going to be uh doing the live recordings you can go to our google calendar which is tinyurl.com forward slash calendar dash c-o-l and if you would like to support us there's several ways you can do it you can go to our zazzle.com slash cups out loud merch store and get yourself several items so like damon and i happen to be wearing t-shirts uh that we have at the store so in this case um, I have the consent is my foreplay uh, in the drag pride colors. Damon has the regular logo uh, on his burgundy shirt, um, what we call the V3 logo uh, for Cubs Out Loud in general. And in addition to apparel, like hats, shirts, those type of things, there are other items um, as Damon uh, has available to him. He has the coffee mug that has the Cubs Out Loud drag race logo on it. It happens to be two-tone. So it has an uh, interior color that matches the handle. So, and it comes in a variety ah. of colors. Damon's happens to be pink because everybody likes it pink on the inside. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, if you want to, you could also become a <laughs> girl. Stop. Like, I'm not even. <laughs> Anyways, you could become a patron at Patreon. Dot com slash comes out loud. That's P A T R E O N dot C O M slash comes out loud is one word. And for as little as a dollar a month, you uh, could be a patron to help support us. And uh, you would get access to the uh, full episodes, including what we call the bookends, the, the pre and post shows, um, those kind of things. Or if you'd like to just leave us a tip, you could do that. You can go to paypal.me slash comes out loud and leave a one time uh, monetary donation. You can give us a tip, honey. We'd be happy to take it. Give us a dollar, bitch. <laughs> if you would like to help promote Comes Out Loud, you can uh, rate us on Apple Podcasts. You can also subscribe pretty much anywhere, including Google Play and other locations. COL Drag Race has its own audio feed for uh, the podcast as well. David, if they want to get in touch with you, where would they find you? If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at TheaterCub79. That's T H E A T R E C U B 79. And most on most bear related sites are on Facebook. Are you gonna find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter? The Twitter is definitely not safe for work though. Okay. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GearBear73, specifically when it comes to all things drag. I have a Twitter account that's GearBear73 D R A G. And with that said, uh, we're gonna exit. It's the end of episode seven, and, and in just a few days we'll have episode eight for Snatch Game of Love. Ooh. Until then, bye. Bye bye. Bye, Jan. Sure, Jan. <laughs> so bad. Listen to you. <laughs> Honey. Mm -hmm. Just have to see how the whole thing plays out. But I will say uh, her enthusiasm really kind of struck a chord with me. And I was like, hmm. hmm. Again, I am. I. I just want to know. I want to know.